Hi, I'm Keeper Mel, and today I'm gonna show you a really cool tool that we use to understand our lemurs called an epigram. Think of an epigram kind of like a special dictionary, so it allows us to interpret these little movements like an ear twitch or a tail movement or a different sound that we're hearing. By documenting these behaviors, we can actually crack the code of what they're actually telling us. We have created epigrams for about 10 primate species at Persu. This includes both of our lemur species, our orangutans, our gibbons, even the little marmosets. We can understand all of their behaviors now. For example, you can see in the clip that one of our male black and white rough lemurs is making what we call a roar and shriek chorus. And it's a very normal vocalization that they do in the wild and in the zoo. It basically is a way for the individuals to communicate where they are to each other. Another behavior we might see is grooming between two individuals. This is when both of them will decide to lick each other and they actually have specialized little teeth that can actually comb through their fur. So we'll see this as a function to maintain their social bonds with each other. Another behavior you might see if you're very lucky is when our lemurs are playing. So this might look like zoomies, so they're gonna be bouncing around, just means that they're happy. All of our primate staff are really experts in taking care and understanding our species, but we always have more to learn, especially when it comes to understanding their behavior. So we look at all of what has been written about wild animals first. We try and understand all of the behaviors that wild animals show, and then we see how that applies to the animals in our care. And by understanding our animals better, we can actually take care of them a lot better. So if we don't know something that they're doing is making them upset, or so we have this information, now we can actually understand how to actually keep them happier. Still, to this day, we've been working on them for a few years. We'll find that we'll see something or hear something that no one's seen before, and then we have to go back to our research and our discussions to add that back into our epigram. So it's really important to get the scientific understanding plus ours and put it together. While we're using our epigrams to understand our species better and care for them as best as we can, they actually have a really broad application. And in the wild, you can actually use this information to look at how changes that people are making are actually impacting their natural behaviors. Animals are always speaking a language of their own and using epigrams allows us to become fluent in that language.